Hey y'all, I'm back with another video, another college video, and I'm going to be talking about being a black student at Cal Poly or PWI and my pros and cons of my experience. This is obviously just my experience. I think it's a good idea if other black students at PWIs or Cal Poly want to, they can comment down below their experience and like other, other things they want to mention, but this is my experience. I'm not speaking on behalf of all black students in the whole world, so. I think a little background is necessary. Cal Poly is a predominantly white institution in San Luis Obispo. The population of black students at Cal Poly is less than 1%. My class specifically had like somewhere around the teens admitted, like maybe 14 or 15, I'm not sure, but it's less than 1%. So the black population is very, very, very small. There's I think 20,000 undergrads so in numbers, I think it's like a hundred something black students. I don't really, I, I might have to look that up, but I'll try to put it down below in the description box, just so you have like exact numbers to kind of visualize the like how little amount of black students go to Cal Poly. I thought it'd be interesting to give you my pros and cons and like my experiences because some people might be like considering coming here, considering going to Cal Poly and might want to know like what they're getting into. So, let's start off on a good note. Let's start with some pros. One thing I've enjoyed about being at Cal Poly is the smaller community of black students. So, Black Student Union, I'm sure everybody knows what that is. And then NSBE is National Society of Black Engineers. I'm in both group me's, but I tend to only go to NSBE just because I'm actually very busy with track and stuff. But I know people from both. I know NSBE people and then I also know BSU people. And that's my point, like, I'm sure it's like that at a lot of schools, but if you, like, what I've noticed is that Nesby knows people from BSU, knows the black athletes, and it's like a whole little small community because it's, you know, that small, like, if you live in a city with a population of less than, like, 200, then you're probably going to know everybody, you know? And I think it's really nice to have that community and have it really easy to find them. You just pretty much join one of those clubs and you're in but because of that like we all share the same struggles I mean like I said we all have different experiences but a lot of the major struggles we have at Cal Poly is something we all share and something we all can talk about and it's good to have that communication with others and have those people to talk to for that another pro I feel like I keep saying disclaimers but I'm not saying other schools don't have that, don't have this, but we have very loyal alum. We have alumni coming to our NSBE meetings and I'm sure BSU meetings just to come speak and they actually come in support by donating and there's always the um, black alumni tailgate. We have many, many alumni who love to support and want to support and sometimes may even reach out to us before we get to them because they understand what it's like to be at Cal Poly or PWI and they want to like continue to help it grow and continue having those connections with the younger youth who are currently there. And I think it's really beneficial for us because connections are very important for when you're growing up and going into the career force. And like I said, I'm not saying other schools don't have that. Cal Poly Black students definitely have established that here and it's really secure. Another pro, I've had very many experiences with having a lot of allies here a lot pretty much every single one of my pretty much every single one of my white friends or non-black friends are allies of the movement that's been going on for years but has become really big right now the black lives matter movement a lot of them are going out to the protests in slow also slow's actual population has very 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 low black population so the fact that we even have protests is pretty cool but all my mostly white friends who are still in slow right now are always actively going to those protests and becoming involved in those which is amazing and they've always been there to support me and they kind of understand that I may not have it as easy as them so they've always been patient with me. There are good people at Cal Poly. There's always going to be people who don't like you or judge you at any school but as long as you put yourself with the right people I feel like you can have a good friend group. 
Another pro is it seems that Cal Poly is actively pushing towards equity and diversity. It might take a while, but I don't know if you can blame that on administration or if you blame that on it being a state school and I don't know all the legislation they have, but they at least have spoken up about wanting to become more diverse and more towards like supporting their minorities and understanding minority struggles. So, I mean, that's a start. I feel like a lot of California UCs and CSUs are kind of pushing towards that direction, which is really good to hear. Um, I don't think we're gonna make much progress by the time I graduate, but that's because nothing can happen that fast because no one really puts the agenda, like number one thing on their agenda, this problem that we experience. And I'd say the last pro is that I have not had a bad encounter, like a racial encounter at Cal Poly. I do know a lot of people who have, which I guess would be a con. But for me personally, I have not. And I don't know, I obviously don't know why. It could be because I've never really been in the wrong place at the wrong time. But a lot of my friends, not even just black friends, but minority friends have had encounters with racist people and being harassed, but or even just police harassing them, but me personally, I have not, and I'm thankful for that. I am glad that I won't have, as of right now, I'm only halfway done with college, but I'm thankful that I won't have those bad memories from, hopefully, <laughs> I feel like I'm speaking too soon, but from college, I just don't want to have to remember college of like me having to struggle with that, but I do know it's something common in the world and it's going to happen someday. I just don't want to happen in college, you know what I mean? All right, now I'm getting into some cons. And I think this is very important for people to comment on because I obviously don't have all the cons. So being at Cal Poly, I said we have less than 1% population. One con is we have a small voice. We have been pushing for things for years and years and the, it's just really hard to start a movement with the small amount of voices we have, but it is good that other people want to help and join in. So at some point, things do start to move along. Another con is a lack of understanding because it's just hard for people to understand where we come from. If there's not really that much people talking about it and if there are just, it's kind of a weird ratio to work with. Another con is something I mentioned before, it's how the progress for improvement is kind of slow. But I wouldn't say that's just a Cal Poly thing, I'd say that's probably common in a lot of PWIs. The progress of improvement and like towards what we all want to see, like it's it takes a long time and I think that's just because it's hard to change things right away when people don't agree with you. I'm sure a lot of people know what's the difference between good and bad and right and wrong, but some people are just kind of scared to go and do the good because of how people think of them. And that's how you always see it. Like a simple example is slavery, like just lasting forever until someone was like, I don't freaking care anymore. Get rid of it. You know, like you know what's good and what's bad. It's just that some people are too scared. They fear what others will think, what the majority will think. Another issue is the differences in problems. So let's say um, a huge problem may be something related to, let's say, maybe the school is complaining about the types of food being served at the cafeteria. Or not the school, but maybe like a majority of people are complaining about the dining, like the types of food being served. Whereas you would think that on your agenda, it should be something like things are prioritized and you'd think that it should be like the comfort of your own students, whether it's like minorities or sexual harassment or all that. But like it, the differences in the problems, like it might be a majority feel this way about the food, you know, like a lot of people are talking about it compared to the 50 people who are speaking out of something that you would think is more important or should be prioritized more. Like I said, the ratio, it's pretty off. Like lack of black leadership. A lot of the black leadership you'll see are the ones in the diversity positions. Like 
VP of Diversity and Inclusion, student affairs, like the people you like want to see diversity anyway. But I'm saying like, I haven't had a single professor that was black. I know of one through Nesby because he's a he's our advisor, but I've never had a single professor who's black. And now that I think about it, I've never had a single teacher growing up who was black either. But that's so it's a common thing. So it's just a lack of black professors. I've had minority. I've had yeah. I've mm, have I? The last con is that I'm pretty much only the black student. No, I'm pretty much the only black student in all of my classes. I think one, like, maybe calc or statics, I don't remember, had like another black guy in there, but yeah, I'm pretty much the only one and I can feel it. Not like physically, I just mean like, I notice it. And it's also like that on the track team, I can probably count on my hands how many black people are on the track team and track is big, but it could be more diverse on football and basketball, I'm not sure, to be honest, but if you're looking to be surrounded by black people, then obviously an HBCU is the better option for you, but if that's not your main purpose for going to college, then it really doesn't matter where you go. Well, that's all I have. Hopefully people will comment down below their experiences at a PWI or a Cal Poly, and like as a minority, you don't have to be black, like just your experiences in general. And, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you next week.